We are now in the midway of July and we have also crossed the first half of this year which hasn't been quite well but in spite of all the things that are going around us, we still got lots of good games this year and there are a lot more to come. Hey guys this is me Decker, welcome to Gamer Connect and today I'm going to talk about games that have released or are yet to release in this month. So here are 5 new games that you can play in July 2020. Starting on number 5 we have Crackmania. This game already came out on the very first day of the month. Crackmania is one of the classic racing franchises and it already had 17 previous games. That's how popular and successful it has been. The game was originally developed by Electronic Sports World Cup back in 2006 and now Ubisoft and Nadio remade the game and launched it in 2020. As it goes by the name it is a racing game on tracks which features regular roads, steep bends, loops and jumps along with different game modes and also different weather conditions. Conditions. This game supports both single player and multiplayer with up to 25 different tracks and the best part is the game is totally free. So you can definitely try this game out along with your friends and I think it will be a very fun game to play with lots of people. This game is now available on PC and you can get it from both Steam and Epic Games Store. Next on number 4 we have a game for the Nintendo Switch owners and this game is called Deadly Premonition 2 A Blessing in Disguise. The game launched on July 10 and it has been developed by Toy Boy Incorporated. It comes in two different editions, Standard and Collector's Edition. The game is basically a survival horror game where the main character is an FBI agent who has been sent to a small town to solve a murder case and while venturing around the town he comes across various supernatural elements. So it is definitely a game for people who are into horror games or just want to spend sleepless nights. The price of the game is a little high as all Nintendo game prices are in India. It is available for around 4000 rupees from the Nintendo store. Moving on to number 3 is a game that everyone has been eagerly waiting to release for a long time and the game is called Ghost of Tsushima. Now people have been calling that the game is almost like an Assassin's Creed game based on Japan and that the story of the game sucks. Well all I'm going to say is don't jump into conclusions without actually playing the game. So the game is developed by Sucker Punch Productions and it is coming out on the 17th of July. Ghost of Tsushima is an open world action game set during the time of Mongolian invasion on the island of Tsushima. The game is purely single player with exciting combat and beautiful immersive sceneries. There's one more thing that you need to know about this game that it is a PlayStation 4 exclusive so it won't be available on any other platforms. So if you have a PS4 you definitely already know about this game and if you don't here's a fun game that will keep you occupied for some good amount of time and the game is available for Rs 4000. Next on number 2 we have a Mario game and this one is called Paper Mario The Origami King. It is an action adventure RPG developed by Intelligent Systems and published by Nintendo for the Nintendo Switch consoles only. Paper Mario itself is a big franchise with 5 previous games and it of course belongs to the bigger Mario franchise. It is basically a turn based game where you play as Mario and you'll come across most of the characters from the Mario world. The gameplay is very fun, it involves solving puzzles, fighting with enemies and exploring various lands on boats and carts. This game is also coming out on July 17 and it is priced somewhere around 4.5k. Lastly on number 1 is the best game of this month and it is Death Stranding. Now I know that Death Stranding was released last year but it was only available on the PS4 and now it also has been launched on PC and was available from July 14th. Now if you want to know what kind of game Death Stranding is there's only one way to put it that is it is a weird mixture of various aspects of a game which further made it weirder. Apart from that it is a third person action adventure with a mixture of sci-fi elements, hiking simulation and stealth action. In the game you play as Sam Porter a freelance delivery man who travels across North America which is being rebuilt after a collapse of civilization. The game is available for Rs 4000 on Steam, it is a little bit pricey but you'll absolutely enjoy playing this game. You can also get Death Stranding for free along with any RTX GPUs you buy for a limited amount of time. So that was all the games that I think you should try out this month and let me know which one is your favorite game from the list and also if you have any more suggestions do drop down in the comments down below. For more videos like this follow GamerConnect.in on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. That was me Decker, see you again in the next video.